What's up guys, it's your boy Jordan back with another e-commerce video and this is one of the most highly requested topics out of everything I post about. Facebook ads is a close second but you guys are always asking me about product research and it makes sense. Product research is one of the most important aspects when building an e-commerce business. I mean after all that is what makes you all the money. So I wanted to create a quick video sharing one of my favorite product research strategies that exist at the moment. This is something that I share with a lot of my students and people that I work with one on one and I wanted to bring it to YouTube and publicly allow you guys to get this strategy and implement it today. So if you're excited for this and you like the quality of this content, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Like I always say in my videos, I also have a free Facebook group that you can join. It's awesome. We're over 8,500 members at the moment and I want to crush 10K. So keep joining, keep collaborating, keep sharing value and we'll keep growing that. But anyways, we're going to jump into my computer and I'm going to share with you guys this exact product research method. All right, so real quick, just a disclaimer I wanted to talk about before we jump into the method. In this method, I'm actually going to be using paid software and it's okay if you can't afford to use this software. This isn't the only way to do product research. I have a previous video that I made in the past which shares a free method and inside of my 0 to 100 program, I have multiple free methods for product research. But even if you can't afford the tools, I still think it's important to watch this video because there's ways that you can implement this method without necessarily using the tools. And that sounds confusing, but once we get everything up and going, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I just wanted to share that first, but don't think that just because you can't afford a, a spy tool or you can't pay for any of these uh, things, it means that you can't find winning products. That's a total lie. Um, I didn't have any spy tools at my disposal until far after I was making money because I simply couldn't afford it right out of the gate. So watch this video if you please, but don't stress if you can't afford anything that you see in this video. And I tried to find and share the cheapest tools that I have had success with. I'm not gonna drop a $200 tool on you guys and make you go pay for that. So anyways, that was the quick disclaimer. And another thing I wanna talk about too before we go into this method is that you can use any product research method out there. There's, there's tons of them. But what matters the most is having the right vision and eye for finding these products. What are the main things that these products have that make them appealing to your audience and get them to generate sales? I go really in depth on this in my 0 100 program, but I'll share the top three things. I held up a two there. The top three things that I think make a winning product, and then we'll get into the research method because I know that's what you guys are already for. But anyways, um, top three factors of a winner. So if you watch um, a couple of my other videos, maybe you guys have heard me talk about some of this stuff before, but a lot of you guys are probably new. Um, I know product research videos do quite well, so I wanna share this again. So the first thing that I think really separates um, these products that get a couple sales from the products that are easily scalable is the fact that your product needs to solve a problem. So let me put this here. The main reason why I say this is because we're going to be launching our products on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google, wherever we're launching our campaigns. And it's important that we make something that can actually get the customer's attention and pull them away from that endless stream of content that they're wrapped up into. And what I believe to be one of the best ways to do this with is by finding products that actually help the customer out. Because remember, we're going to be targeting them really specifically based off of what they're interested in. So let's use cooking, for example. It's a really broad example. Example, but these cooking products do so well because they solve problems to people that are really passionate about what they love to do. So cooking, for example, you can present something that's going to make an issue that they have easier, then you're going to be in a better position to make money off of that product. The second thing that I think is really important is that your product should have a wow factor. So what do I mean by this? Once again, like I said, when we're targeting our customers and showing them these advertisements, they have no reason to stop on the ad. They're, they're already focused on other stuff. There's nothing that's appealing enough to them to get them to stop. So you have to be that force. You have to create that. You have to create that pattern interrupt that gets them to stop scrolling and get them to actually look at the piece of content that you have. And this is quite difficult, but one of the best ways that you can do this is having some type of product that has a wow or an amazing factor to it. 
it. Um, a good example that I always like to share about this is one of my winners last year was a like metallic marker, like glitter pen, but the way that it drawed was really cool. Like you drew a line and then after you drew the line, then it started to like glitter and like shimmer. So the video that we were using, and you can actually see this product in my Instagram story ads tutorial. But when you see the product and draw and it like opens up, it's something that's like satisfying and enjoyable to watch. So another example that you could do too is if you're in the kitchen niche, you need to find something that has like an amazing uh, use to it. Um, like for example, those egg things. Don't sell these anymore. They're very saturated. The ones from AliExpress are a horrible quality, but shame me out here. The egg things, they're cool because people have always been boiling eggs and making eggs this complicated way, but you've got this new system to do it super quickly, super clean, and super effectively. So that is the second thing that I would focus on when trying to find products. The last thing that I would say is try to find higher ticket items. So um, the main reason why I say this is because it just makes it easier when you're running ads. Um, and when I say higher ticket, I mean above uh, $24.99. Um, and the main reason why I say this, like I said, is because it's easier to be profitable. If you're testing $10, $15 products, yeah, you might be able to make some sales off of those, but it's way more difficult, especially if you're mainly focusing on Facebook ads. You're going to have to maintain a super cheap cost per purchase. So just keep these things in mind. But these are the top three factors that I like to look at when I'm determining uh, if I should be testing a product. So like I said, you can have every product research method, but if you don't know these things or don't know what you're looking for, you're shooting in the dark. So let's scroll over now. And uh, oh, there goes my face. Uh, let me minimize this. There we go. So now let's talk about my favorite method that I follow. It's sort of a three-step process, but um, I'm going to share it exactly with you guys now. So I need to open up Google Docs really quickly here, and um, I need to create a new document. So basically, this is exactly what I do. I use a spy tool that allows me to see Facebook ads, and it allows me to tailor them down to the specifics of what I'm looking for. I used to use Ad Sector. Ad Sector worked really well for me, but it was extremely expensive. It was like a hundred something dollars each month. Shop Genius is a much better option. It's way cheaper, and to me, it does what Ad Sector does just a little bit better. So you can come on here, and I'm gonna move my face. You can come on here, and you can click on Advanced, and you can actually narrow down. Um, if you couldn't tell, this is all like. Facebook ads that their system has scraped and imported, but you can sort these ads based off of specific things. So what I like to put, and you guys can follow these exact parameters. I like to go newsfeed. I like to go Shopify, and then I like to go the last 30 days. Okay, and then from there we're just gonna click find ads. It's gonna do its thing. It's gonna load a little bit, and we should be able to get a good insight on a couple products. Oh, one more thing. Once you pull it up, you have to sort it. So I like to sort it by most likes because this is an accurate representation of you know the ads that are starting to go viral. And boom, we can see a bunch of products here. So we can see this dress, we can see the watch, this ring. You can get so many product ideas just from this app. Here's another ring. Here's a POD shirt. Um, in this example though, uh, we're running a, in theory, we're running a general store here. So let's try to find products that are on a general store. So here's a great one. Uh, these knives here. So we're going to open them up. Okay. And when we open them up, we're going to be able to see the post. We're going to be able to see how it's doing. And you guys can see that it was launched on July 3rd. And from July 3rd, it's already started to scale and get some good results. The engagement isn't actually loading right now, but we saw it back on Shop Genius and we can see that the product is doing quite well. Okay, there you go. 33K likes, 4.5K comments. People are buying this thing. People are really liking it. So this is exactly what I do. I will take the link from the store and I mean you could take this product straight up and test it if you really want um, but what I usually do is I'll take the link from this store so uh, great gad I think yeah that's how you say that and I will put it in here and usually I would do this with like a bunch of stores that's why I'm doing it on a dock in this example we're just gonna do one store but usually I'll go through shop genius and I'll just note down a bunch of stores that I see performing well okay so there we go we've got great gad and also inside of shop genius um, you can hit save so you can just stay on top of which products you think are good But what we do is we take that product and a lot of people will just stop there Okay, and that's kind of what I used to do. I used to just say oh, okay This product's doing good. Let's take this product and test it and if it fails whatever we'll screw it That's not what I think is the best right now So I'll take the link I copy it and I go into a software called similar web just to kind of verify that this wasn't a like lucky winner like i want to verify that this store is actually getting good results so um let's let it load up a little bit here and this tool similar web 
it's very expensive um i don't expect all of you to get this and i don't necessarily think you need this but if you can't afford it it definitely helps just because it allows you to tell how much traffic the actual site is getting so you can see that uh in july they got 41k visits um not too too good but they're getting results they're making some money so that's what we're looking for we're just verifying that the store is actually making money i don't really use uh similar web for anything other than that so this is the real killer in the product research method so we're gonna take this link right here and we're gonna import it into this software called Comma Feed. Comma Feed basically takes the RSS feed from the products or from the stores and it allows you to get a constant stream of the products that they're importing. This is great because if you're only taking products or stores from Shop Genius or whatever spy tool that are doing extremely well, and you import them into here, you're only going to be getting top quality products or at least decent products because these are good performing stores. That's my, my logic behind it and it's hold to be true so far. So basically you just hit subscribe, uh, you put the URL for the thing and then you have to put this little uh, word right after it. And I'll put this in the description if you can't figure it out. But um, yeah, then it loads up and everything should be good. So let me pause this real quick because I think I forgot the code wrong, but after I get it, then I'll update you guys. Okay, my mistake. So you have to put um, slash collections and then slash all dot atoms. So like I said, I'll put this in the description. Usually I have my VAs do this, so it's been a while since I did it last time. But then you hit save and uh, you're not gonna be able to see anything right at this moment, but basically any time that this store uploads a product, you're going to get access to it. So I'll actually go over to my other um, Shop Genius account or Comma Feed account, and I'll show you guys like an example. So you can see when we pull this up, uh, it's gonna show you like a constant stream of products coming through and this is an okay list of, of uh, stores but check this out so you've got uh, neon nail polish great idea for a product a little cheap of a product but could still make something out of it and you see right here I mean this is a ton of stores ton of products and all these products have been uploaded just a couple hours ago so if you're selective about which products you put into your comma feed and you follow these criteria closely it's pretty difficult not to find a winning product and if you're still struggling then you need to just work on your funnel and pay more attention to detail and optimize things to a higher degree this right here is probably one of the most effective product research methods that exist right now and it's really easy for anybody to do and like i was saying in the beginning you don't need to use um shop genius if you can't afford it if you can't afford it i highly suggest that you use it but if you can't then just go to facebook and uh use this guy right here and it's called turbo ad finder hopefully we'll be able to find something but basically you can just scroll through and right here i mean here's a store uh noah's cave so we can take noah's cave and we can do the same thing um into comma feed so that's basically the method um we'll copy that and then we'll copy this and then we'll copy that and then we can import that. So this is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, this is one of my favorite product research methods. I share this with everybody. So you guys should be able to take this information and apply it as well. Um, yeah, so let me just click import and then we'll wrap this video up. And you're not gonna be able to see anything, like I said, you have to wait until um, they start uploading products, but try this stuff out. Tell me how it works for you guys. But anyways, that's all I have for this video. Uh, I really hope you guys got some value out of this one because I pretty much just revealed uh, one of my like secret product research methods. And if you want to know more in-depth strategies about product research, uh, I have about four more methods as well as an in-depth breakdown about the factors of a winner inside of my zero to 100 program. So you can find the link to that uh, down below in the description. It would be awesome to have you guys enroll. We also have a private Facebook group where I send you guys 10 to 20 products each week to test. Uh, nobody else is really doing that right now, so I think that's something that you could get a lot of value out of. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. That's all I have for now, and I will see you guys in the next video. I think I'm going to post one on Friday, so stay tuned for that. Have a great day. See you then.